I've mentioned it in past reviews, but good quality audio gear can sometimes be overlooked when we think about upgrading our setups. Many people will go straight to the GPU or the CPU when looking at stuff to make their gaming experience a bit better. But good quality audio gear can make games more immersive and make gaming as a whole a more enjoyable experience, at least for me anyway. Well, Edifier sent across their new QR65 active desktop monitors for review. Let's find out if they're any good. Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome to Kit Guru. So these are the QR65 speakers from Edifier, a set of active desktop monitors which retail for $329.99. They've got a pair of 1.25 inch silk dome tweeters and 2.75 inch long throw aluminium diaphragm mid to low drivers. They're high res audio certified on both wired and wireless via their built in Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity. They've got onboard 65 watt fast charging ports two USB Type-C and one USB Type-A. And alongside that Bluetooth connection, they've got USB and RCA audio jack line-in ports for connecting to a variety of different devices. Then there's the lighting. The QR65 speakers feature RGB in the baffles powered by what Edifier call their Tempo Abyss technology. Let's go through every detail of the QR65 speakers and see just what you're gonna get for your 330 quid. Starting with the design then, the QR65s come in both a black version and then the white model that I've got for review. And straight off the bat, I've got to say, as soon as I set them up, I was very impressed with the looks. They're some of the nicest looking speakers I've ever seen, let alone reviewed. I've had several positive comments from people when they've come round to my house and seen them set up on my desk while I've been testing them. The front contains the tweeter and the driver sitting in an infinity mirror style baffle with RGB lights surrounding the edges. There are 11 preset effects to choose from or you can tweak them a little bit in the Edifier Connects app which I'll go through in more detail later in the video. The cabinets are finished in a soft touch kind of faux leather like material that feels and looks really really good. These aren't the biggest speakers in the world, in fact they're quite compact. Each cabinet measures 13 centimeters wide by 21 centimeters high by 21.5 centimeters deep. The right hand speaker is the active unit out of the two and contains all of the controls and all of the IO on the back of it. There are two dials and a button on the right hand side of the right hand speaker. The bottom dial controls the lighting. You rotate it to change the brightness and press it in to cycle through the preset lighting effects. And then the top dial controls the volume, rotating it to go up and down, of course, and then pressing it in will either mute or unmute the audio source when you're using the line in connection, or it'll play slash pause when you're using either USB or Bluetooth. And then the button above those two dials turns the speakers on and off. In terms of connectivity, on the rear of the right hand speaker, you've got a line in input, USB type A input, a sub output for connecting an external subwoofer, the port for connecting the left and the right speakers together, a power switch, the power cable connector, and finally the three charging ports that I mentioned, again two type C and one type A. Branding is quite simple, there's an edifier name kind of logo slash badge along the bottom edge of each speaker along with an engraved a passion for sound plate on the left hand side of the right hand speaker. The bottom of each speaker has some rubber feet to help with isolation, they raise the speakers up by a couple of millimetres. The QR65s do come with these aluminium speaker stands in the box as well though, these are angled by 10 degrees. So they'll help with pointing the, the tweeter, the driver, pointing the speaker and the, the sound directly at you where you're sitting listening to it, which can really make a difference to sound quality. And the design of them, they really complement the looks of the speaker overall. I think they look great with the white ones. But looking online, the black ones also come with these same speaker stands. And I think I'd like to have seen them in a more darker finish, would have matched the darker finish speakers. Camera action, we ready to roll, all right. In 
terms of build quality, everything feels really good on the QR65s, which is, it's become a bit of a pattern on most of the Edifier products that I've looked at. The controls feel solid. They've, they've got a minimal amount of wobble in the dials, but nothing too concerning. The one thing I don't like about the fit and finish is the way that the finishing on the cabinets has a seam placed along the front bottom edge of each speaker. It's noticeable especially on the white ones. I haven't seen the, the black ones in person, but on these white ones, you notice where that seam is just there. You can feel it when you run your finger across the edge as well. Other than that small gripe, the speakers feel well-made, solid and sturdy though. They've got that good quality feel when you pick them up. The weight adds to the feeling of a well-made product. Each speaker weighs roughly 2.6 kilograms. The QR65s definitely look the part, but how they sound is more important. As far as the specs go, the total output power is 70 watts RMS. Each tweeter is 15 watts and each mid to low driver is 20 watts. The QR65s are capable of outputting a frequency range of 55 to 40,000 hertz. I've been using these speakers connected to an Audion Evo 4 USB interface via the line-in input, and they've been performing pretty well. The one thing that I noticed straight away was the slightly muted high end. The treble isn't quite as sparkly as I'd like. The mids are nice, they're rich and quite detailed. I'm not a fan of over accentuated mid range as I'm sure most people aren't, but the sound put out by these speakers is pretty pleasant, especially in the, the vocal sort of range. The QR65s do put out a bit of low end, but it's nothing too staggering or room shaking. It's enough for everyday listening and it will more than handle like gaming and watching films or YouTube videos. But if you're a bass head, then you might want to consider adding a sub there is a port on the back of the right-hand speaker to easily connect one if you want to. I've used these speakers for gaming, listening to music, watching videos and the odd movie and just general day-to-day -day work and computer use and I've been very, very pleased with them. The difference it makes to gaming when you've got a decent sound setup cannot be understated. It dials up the immersion a lot for me. It's just, it's like something, until you experience it, it's hard to explain it. If you're used to listening to games and you're playing them on low quality audio gear then when you listen to something listen to that same game on something a bit better quality with a bit better clarity and a bit more detail it just takes it up a level if you're looking for a new chair then you should definitely check out boolies i'm currently sat on their ninja pro gaming chair which is one of three models from their gaming series alongside the elite and the master so if you're looking for something new to stick in your setup that you can sit on and game and work then I recommend definitely checking out boolies.co.uk. I very often listen to music while working too, and the QR65s do a great job of putting out really nice sound, even at low volume, as I don't listen at max volume all day because my neighbours would kill me. But when I did crank them up, they also sound good then. There's no distortion when turning them up to max volume, and they handle bass-heavy tracks and top-end heavy tracks quite well. 
It's become a theme in my Edify reviews. They deliver good quality audio and they are yet to let me down. Everything I've looked at from Edifier, the sound quality has been great. If I had to nitpick, then I'd have liked the sound to have a bit more treble. But again, like I said, it's not a major issue and it's just a personal preference thing really. Now I mentioned the charging ports earlier briefly, but just to add to that, it's quite convenient having fast charging so close at hand when on the computer. There are two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. The Type-C's are capable of charging at up to 65 watts and the Type-A port is capable of up to 60 watts. The more stuff you plug into them, then that'll drop as the power gets shared across the three ports. If you connect your phone to the QR65s via Bluetooth, then you'll be able to control the speakers with Edifier's Connects app. It's got a fair few functions and does a great job of allowing a bit of customizations of the QR65s. There are tabs for switching input source, tweaking the EQ, changing the lighting effects with the ability to change the colors and timings of some of them. You can see detailed info on the charging speed and the power levels of that charging of any connected devices that you've got plugged into the charging ports. Then you can change the volume of the speakers at the bottom. The cog menu in the top right of the app is where you'll find stuff like the manual and the factory reset and stuff like that. But it's also where you'll find the HD audio option, which is a little bit hidden away, I think. I think this should be on the main menu with the rest of the audio related settings as it's turned off by default. You have to go in and turn on the LDAC, the high res audio. Overall, the app is okay, it works well, it finds the speakers quickly after connecting to a phone, and it does the job of customizing the QR65s pretty well. Overall then, I really like these speakers. The design is a major plus point for me. They're the nicest speakers I've ever seen in the flesh, maybe ever, but that's a very subjective bit of praise, I guess. They may not be to everybody's tastes, but one thing I think everyone would agree on though is the sound quality. Edifier continue to deliver great sound quality, albeit this time around, not so much on the budget end of things, especially when you compare it to the MR4 monitors that are reviewed last year. But still, this time around you're getting looks as well as sound quality. And I think these speakers would fit into almost any setup and look great. Like I said at the start of the video, if you're looking for an upgrade to your setup and you've overlooked audio up till now, then these speakers might just be what you're looking for. The bottom line is this is another great product for Edifier, just this time with a bit of a higher price tag. And that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like down below if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to KitGuru to keep up with the latest PC gaming news and reviews. If you go down below the video, you'll find links to our merch store, and then in the video's description, you'll find links to our Discord server, our Patreon page, or our website, if you want to check any of that out. Anyway, guys, I've been Matt. These have been the QR65 active monitor speakers from Edifier. I'll speak to you in the next one. Look after yourselves. See you later.